Okay, hi guys. Um, I wanted to thank everybody that's been watching my videos and encouraged me to post more and uh, share with you a couple of tweaks that I've come up with for Battlefield 4, including uh, some tweaks uh, using NVIDIA Inspector, which um, is a nice little program that allows NVIDIA users to get to some of the deeper settings in the profiles um, and some better driver settings overall that will uh, etch out a little bit more performance for you. Um, so I'm going to go over that first. Right now I have actually got this set to the default Battlefield 4 profile. So the tweaked profile is not loaded. So I just want to show you the performance basically at stock. I've also disabled one of my cards to show you what happens with a single card, how it performs with two cards, and uh, how the different values that, that we use here in the new profile for Battlefield 4 will affect performance. Okay guys, so here we are, we're in Battlefield 4, I'm in the uh, video settings screen. See I'm on Ultra at 120, 100% uh, resolution, etc. So everything is, is uh, pretty much max. I mean we can bump up the resolution scale, but let's face it, there's no point. Um, and so what we've got here is totally default, raw, single 770 GTX, uh, 4 gig, and uh, fairly normal performance, getting about 80 frames a second if I'm lucky. But what you'll see is when there's an explosion or some major animation on screen, I lose a lot of frames per second. Uh, especially if I run through it. I mean, I went down to like 50 right there. So, um, huge variation. And we'll do that again. Just for a Same thing happened. I went into the red. So really, you don't ever want to go into the red. Really, you don't ever really want to go below 60. Uh, personally, I don't ever want to go below 120. But... Um, so we'll see what happens when we turn on the inspector settings. Okay, so first off I apologize for all the switching, but Shadowplay doesn't allow you to record the desktop, and uh, Open Broadcaster is not really going to prove the point that I'm getting at because part of the problem that everybody's having uh, with NVIDIA cards has to do with using Shadowplay and overall performance. Um, what you'll see is about a, a 5 to 10 frame drop maybe 15 frames when you're on a single card uh, but in SLI mode it used to be about the same now it's about a 40 to 50 percent drop which is massive but this little fix these fixes together will actually get rid of that for you so what I'm going to do is I'm going to import uh, the safe Battlefield 4, 4 profile that I have and we're going to go ahead and go find that and I've got some settings that are different here again I'm not going to go through them in detail I'll provide the file though uh, these are applicable to G-Sync because I have a G-Sync monitor I'll provide one that uh, will give you a little bump even if you don't have G-Sync so it's not really related go ahead and apply those changes and we're going to go back to the game okay so we're back in Battlefield 4 see my video settings are still the same um, overall uh, no change. So, what you will see though is that my average frame rate um, has gone up just ever so slightly. Now, this won't be a massive difference, but what you may notice is there's no flickering textures in the distance like there was before. Um, certain things when you get really close up to them, like this bush, uh, don't have weird edges and overlapping textures. So there's a fix in the inspector settings for that. And you'll also notice that this performs a little bit better. Not drastic, not drastic, five, six frames per second. Um, but let's take a look at what it does for SLI users. So here we are back on the desktop again and you'll see that I have now enabled SLI and um, I'm going to go ahead and restore this to the default value, uh, which means I'm using NVIDIA's default profile for Battlefield 4 again, and apply the changes. And then we'll take a look at exactly what that looks like in game. Okay, so here we are back in uh, Battlefield 4, and this is with SLI enabled. You'll see my video settings are still the same. And once we actually deploy, uh, you'll see that my frame rate is actually exactly the same. In fact, it's a little bit worse. So this is where the problem that SLI users are having 
uh, where it really comes into play the next tweak that we're going to make for Battlefield. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that for whatever reason, some changes have been made in Battlefield 4 uh, that negatively affect SLI users, and there's a very simple change. Um, I strongly recommend the NVIDIA Inspector settings because they will give you a benefit uh, as far as the quality of textures. You don't have to have them uh, as to whether or not those are called crashes with bad textures. I don't really know. All I know is that my game runs solid and I get crazy frames per second. So let's take a look at the actual tweak to the game itself. Okay, so here we are back on the desktop again. And the first thing that I've done is I've gone ahead and disabled uh, my second card again. Uh, even though it appears first, it's actually the second card. And I have, of course, disabled SLI, uh, which obviously won't work when the second card isn't there anyway. Um, but the tweak that I'm going to show you, and this is critical, this is big for everybody, is to this setting right here. So you have a file, which you've probably seen if you've done any tweaking to your Battlefield game, called profsave underscore profile. And this is basically just a text file. I suggest using WordPad to edit it. And what you'll see is a number of things set called GST render dot and then some kind of a description. So this is actually the one, the new one that I have right here that has the tweak on it. So we're going to just switch over to that real quick by renaming it. Oops. You don't need to name this, you don't need to have two of these, it's just what I do to keep track of which files which. Um, and in here I've added one single line and that is and in this file I've added one single line and that is right here. Um, I've actually renamed the files incorrectly so we'll, we'll fix that in a second but gst render dot thread dot max processor count and then this number is going to be the number of, of cores that you have in your processor. So if you have a four core, I have a quad core processor, so I have a four, if you have six, eight, whatever. Um, basically this is telling the game the number of cores that it's allowed to use. Even though you have your affinity set, which uh, you'll see under Task Manager, uh, if you go and find a file and right click on it, what you'll see is Set Affinity. Uh, let's try a different one. So, this is where I'm telling it how many cores it can use. Except that the game doesn't know that it can use those if you don't have these, this line right here. So, I'm going to go ahead and save that and... Then we're going to go ahead and load up the game and see the frame performance. Okay, so here we are back in Battlefield 4, and I know what you guys were thinking before. Why isn't he doing more? Why isn't he running around to show us the frames per second? And the reason is that this little tweak, that's how much difference it makes right there. Yes, I know we're on a screen just standing still, so let's see what happens when we actually play. You see that? That's one card. And yes, in fact, I'm still on Ultra. That's a single card. Okay, you see that? Watch this. That's one card. One card. So, um, anybody who says it doesn't make a difference, obviously it does. I think I've proven that here. Uh, let's go ahead and switch over to SLI and see what kind of performance difference we get. Okay guys, so we're back to the desktop and so one thing that I should note is that I was on 120 hertz uh, refresh rate previously and while that's fine uh, as long as you're not going above 120 with G-Sync, uh, G-Sync will kind of act like V-Sync and actually cap you at about 121 if uh, if you're going above that. But as we saw before, I wasn't even holding a steady 120. Um, so for this particular test, I have changed the refresh rate to 144 just to show that uh, not only is the performance going there, that the frame rate is going to jump up well above 120. Um, if there was any chance of it going higher than that, I would have had the refresh rate at 144 before. Um, but as we saw through the testing, it, it pretty much averaged between about 110 and 117. It never really stayed at 120. So 
Um, so what we have here is uh, the tweaked NVIDIA inspector settings, uh, the tweaked profile, which I'll provide for you. Uh, of course, we've added that line in the prof save underscore profile file for Battlefield 4. And so kind of maxed out our tweaks here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load into the game, and uh, I'm not going to bother showing what this looks like with just a single card. Um, we've kind of already looked at that, uh, but the important thing here is that this will benefit both SLI and non-SLI users, uh, and also, again, this profile that I'm going to provide will benefit G-Sync users a little bit. Um, you're welcome to try tweaking it yourself and see if you notice the difference. I did. Maybe your system's different than mine, uh, but you'll definitely see the frame per second difference. Okay, so we're back in game here, and you can see already that my uh, frame rate is going up above, well above 120, just kind of sitting here on its own. Um, everything is set to ultra, everything's the same, except we've moved this to 144 hertz to match the frame, excuse me, the refresh rate of the monitor. So we'll be able to see here pretty clearly that right away getting a much higher frame per second. Now I'm not I'm not busting the 140 threshold, but I'm definitely going well above 120. The major difference that the NVIDIA tweak, NVIDIA Inspector tweak is going to make is this. The drop that I have in frame rate is far less significant, uh, which for a lot of users is going to be enough to use this enough of a reason to use this profile. Um, my max frame rate, if we want to stare at the sky, it'll go well above that, but I have it capped at, at 143. So um, there you have it. A um, couple little tweaks. Uh, you can't see this right now because you're probably not looking on a G-Sync monitor and you're watching YouTube. So, uh, But what you will notice if you're a G-Sync user is that your fluid motion in terms of your input lag and the response time is going to be just a little bit smoother. So definitely worth the change. Thanks for watching.